And hello guys, what is up? This is CD Mangeka, and I'm bringing you a Capture the Flag on Cool Ray. And I gotta say, this is probably a very favorite map of mine <coughs> in Modern Warfare 2. I just kind of like how it usually plays out for me. I generally do very well in this map. I've gotten one nuke here on Domination, and I actually came close to achieving my first nuke in Team Deathmatch here. But the game ended because we reached the score limit, and I was sitting at 24-0. It's my first Deathmatch Flawless. <laughs> so that, that was, it was kind of a little antagonistic for me. But this first round of the match, it's going to take a while for it to kind of, you know, uh, to take off and, you know, for all the beastiness and raging and the noob destroying to take a fracks. And some other weird devil shit like that. <laughs> it was just very, very slow game for whatever reason when we were going in. But in the second round, I mean, it kind of picked up and I did get my kill streaks. And, I mean, you know, they just kind of went to town, had lunch, met a few babes, went home to a hotel and watched some Scooby Doo. <laughs> Maybe not, but whatever. <laughs> Call it what you will. <laughs> I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. This is probably, but this is probably my best capture the flag game midfilling. My goal right here was to, you know, get up in their spawn and uh, just, just, just kind of destroy them. You know, really distract them a bit. As a midfielder, you should aim. Your goal should be push up into the enemy spawn and to kind of destroy them. That you, to keep pressure off your flag runners and you know and uh, things of that nature, as some commentators would say. I mean, I just can't find nobody. Look at this. My, where the bloody hell are they? Hello, hello, hello. They got a full freaking lobby. And then I got, there's a guy. There's a couple guys. Just kind of injuring my area around. I'm chasing this guy down. My kill! Oh, I fail. Wait, hold on. My kill! There you go. Then I'm just going to try and get up here. And nope. And then get it back. Then I do get up here because I want to control. I want to stay in their spawn and kill them as they spawn just to keep a lot of the pressure off the flag runners. And in maps like uh, Quarry and I think even Estate is really easy just to get down there and destroy them. But granted, there are sometimes when you can go about halfway into the map and there's a strong point there that you can hold down. Like on Estate, the Lake House is a really good place. Estate capture the flag. It's it's pretty fun. And it's the one one of the flags I do that my team does best at because I mean it's like we know how we know how to play that match. Probably thanks to a little bit of a Woody's gamer tag, and right here I'm spraying for. I thought there was a dude under me or something like that. I was playing without my good old Turtle Beach headsets, which I am fortunate enough to say that uh, we have gotten those replaced. My mom was caught. We were trying to scrape around the receipt. I believe I threw it away or lost it. And my mom called GameStop and said, "Can you bring up the receipt?" But they don't keep those at all. And so you know, we're like, "Okay, crap." But the lady who was working at the time just said, "You know, just said, you know what? How would you come down here? We'll exchange it. They have a year warranty on the stuff." Let's just do it. And then, you know, I was like, yay. And so I was able to do some gaming with the Turtle Beach, with some new Turtle Beaches that smelled pretty weird. I mean, the second I opened up, it was just this draft of, like, this this, this chemical. I have no idea what it was. It was like, oh, whoa. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, I, was, uh, I never knew a headset could fart. <laughs> never knew a headset could fart. That is really weird. Looks like Nemesis took the flag. And, you know, he's got a tag insert right under me, so. Looking around. Yeah, but again, there's just, like, no action going on whatsoever. I don't know if this team, if they were hiding corner and sucking their thumbs, or if we got a lot of them to leave. I didn't see people leaving in the kill feed. And I gotta say, uh, it's really fun, though, playing an objective game type where you destroy people, and you uh, basically just, you know, and you, and one of your teammates has hosts, so you could just basically wipe a game out. It's really fun to do, but <laughs> we got shit talked by this one guy on a derail uh, capture the flag, and we had messed up on a sub base game. We we lost because we got a, a dude ran in and capped our flag. I think we were tied down, or we just our some of our defenders abandoned their posts and began chasing down the flag, and so we kind of you know goofed up there. I got a little ticked at him, but I mean you know they they corrected themselves in other games, and we got this guy who messaged our my good pal Franco, shut the f up. <laughs> and you know I'm, I look at this guy, I'm like okay that's it, you know. And, I basically unmute the guy for about five seconds. He didn't even have a mic on. He was talking big stuff. And I'm like, all right, listen here, Joker, okay? We're going to be running... Look, we're going to be running the show here. All right? And uh, derail, we got in there. We were greeted with uh, with a 21 noob tube salute. <laughs> and he got a little dicey there, but we, you know, we couldn't control the center building. But we did managed to start just stomping on these guys. I mean, we got air support up. I think Franco got a chopper gunner, and he got like... He, we just... After a while, we kind of figured out what to do, and we just began to beast and destroy him, and we even made that kid leave. And I messaged him to so I told you we run the show. Don't get get good at the game before you talk shit. You know, and so I just, you know, basically, 
I had an evil moment in which I get, I had to be one of the evil guys who, you know, who's the douchebag in the case. And you guys could tell me that I'm a douchebag to that kid. I mean, he's trying to have fun, why not? But nobody picks on my friend, you know? I mean, I, I can make fun of my uh, guys in my party all I want, but the second that you pick a fight with them, I'm kicking your ass. It's the same deal with my sibling. You know, I, I'm the only guy who can allow to fight with my brother. You pick a fight with him, I'll be the one, I'll be the guy who's punching your face in. As he joins me in and kicks your nuts. No, he'll be the one punching your face in. I'll be the guy kicking him in the nuts. My brother is good at punching my face in. I mean, you know, he always, at least whenever we get into a, like a little sparring match, as we like to call it, whenever we do that, he always, always gets a nice little bop to my nose. And, you know, just like, oh. Oh, that was funny, man. I believe I have that um, uh, video actually. Oh no, it's down on my laptop. I gotta get those up uh, converting. But I'll post the game and I'll mention it. You know, like this is the game where I mentioned this guy who totally shit talked my friend. We just stomped on him. But so far, the only two capture the flag games we've lost have both been on sub base. We just do not play sub base that well. And even we know with a good team, bad team. We lost one dude and I trade him out for another guy who is, I'm a little shaky on even to this day. Right now, whether or not I really want someone like him playing with us, I'm gonna keep him anonymous. But he did. But he, as far as the other game's concerned, he was doing uh, pretty good. So I think it's just we haven't figured out sub base yet. It's kind of like high rise almost. Sub base capture the flag, and then high rise domination. We just cannot do because we're the team that gets spawn trapped. We, my team, I think we get too conservative at points. You have to push outward from your spawn. You don't want to, you know, get tighter and tighter in. That way, they're just gonna keep running up there. And if you get killed, all they have to do is take five steps at the flag. You know, whereas you push out of the spawn a bit, you can, you know, see the guys coming. If you die, you can let your teammates know, hey, we got a guy approaching, you know, from... <laughs> I don't know, you know. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a call. You know, we got a guy coming from the canyon uh, on Afghan, you know, and he's running for the flag. You guys get him, all right? And then, like, okay, thanks, man. And for the heads up, boom, you, you suddenly help the team build up your kill streak. And, I mean, I enjoy playing with team call-outs are the best thing to do, you know. It's really, it's especially cool when you get, when you give your teammate a kill by, and save his ass at the same time, you know, like, I remember when we were doing a Skid Row game, Capture the Flag, Dud was running, and he was a, he, Dud, he's oblivious to anything, he doesn't even look at his minimap. A flaw that he does pretty well, even without, yeah, he, he's not the kind of guy you can slay, he's a very good flag runner, um, he makes up for that, he does go, you know, he won't get you kill streaks up, I mean, he'll get you a lot of points, he's very good at what he does, which is why I have him in the flag, he's the strongest at that role, and he's pretty good at it. So, um, basically, let me think here. You know, but uh, he he turned right on a skid row. We were coming from the parking lot up into the enemy's flag. We were going along uh, the, the sidewalk along the map, the long sidewalk. And Doug goes off there. There's a guy who who starts chasing after him from the middle uh, the middle room that people come from. I said, Doug, there's a guy behind you. I noticed in the kill feed, Doug killed the guy with the MP5K. He's like, thanks, man. <laughs> and that was really cool. That was really cool to do. Anyways, uh, just a disclaimer right here for those of you who might be, I don't know, like bitching and moaning that you're not, I'm not capping the flag at all. Of course I'm not. I don't have Marathon on. I don't have Lightweight on. If I were to get the flag, it would take me forever and ever and ever to get back to my our flag. Which we don't really want. We want guys who have running perks on to do that. My job was to occupy their spawn and get as many kills as I can, you know. And just to keep a presence there, because as long as you have a presence there, the enemy can't move out, you know. If I were to get a couple kills and get guys looking for me in their own spawn, they wouldn't be going after our flag, and therefore, you know, we get a lot less pressured, and we need you to know, do even better. But I got, I think I got knife for my troubles. Uh, I don't want to say commando lunged. <laughs> but, it's just like, it's a weird thing. We always assume stuff, you know, whenever you hear, whenever I see a sniper trying to shoot me, I automatically always go, don't you quickscope my ass, bitch. I assume he's a quickscoper. Whenever I get knife by a good dude, I always assumed it was a commando thing. Whenever I get, it's just, uh, you make these assumptions and you group people up with these stereotypes, even though they might not exactly fit it, you know, he might, <laughs> the guy might have been running Ninja Pro, but you'll never know, because you're convinced he was using Commando, only people who knife use Commando, <laughs> it, was, it was a weird way I always stereotype things. But there's one assumption I will always make correct, and that if you ever get Painkiller, you're a bad player, at least for a couple minutes. Uh, Franco gets Painkiller a lot, you know, when we do our private free-for-all matches. <laughs> A lot. I am really good at killing people. I don't know why. Right there, I thought you know, I was an enemy, cold-blooded, and how I just went and kind of prayed. But the camera zoomed in. I noticed same uniform, and I'm like, ah, that's not him. It's okay. Flag gets down. I go for the guy getting the flag, and now I'm back right here. But I'm still keeping a presence. I'm trying to keep them in their spawn. They're over there. I'm trying to hit them with this AK-47. Stupid iron sight, no dice. I get comfortable. Oh wait, double spray. I think. 
Headshot, double kill, there you go. Calling my hairs, I'm just building up a kill streak, getting up air support, my teammates are running it all, they're just running the shit. I don't know if I get a payload before the game ends and I'm able to call it in, I don't think I do. Can he do it, can he do it, he goes with the spray, no dice. Payload, okay, so I did do it, sweetness. Calling my Pavlo and his goes down. I get my, I get 350 points for mine, and that is a pretty damn good capture the flag game while uh, being the midfielder, not the running gun, well, not the flag runner if you don't mind. Get this guy with his javelin, and that's the match. 11 and oh, oh, I feel sorry for randoms. And what a great team, what a great team. It was funny. Oh, I'll have to tell you these other capture the flag stories later, guys, and other capture the flag videos. Thank you guys for watching this. I'll see if I get other game types up later.